Hello, it's 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 pretty hard getting Formula One um, cars in the 164 form. Obviously, you can get like, I mean, Hollis doesn't even make them anymore. The uh, Ferrari 156, the um, Tyrell P30, so uh, P34, the uh, six wheeler. Um, there's a couple more Hot Wheels Formula One cars out there, but it's not really. Well, I mean, as the ones that are genuinely based on actual Formula One models instead of you know more generic stuff. The 164 Formula One is pretty hard. I know the existence of like, um, I know there's, um, Barago uh, has made a uh, Sebastian Vettel Red Bull. I uh, haven't been able to find it. Well, not for a reasonable amount of money anyway. And it's usually sent all the way from like Turkey or Europe and one from Israel out of all places. So it's not really that easy to get. This is the, um, the Ferrari F, uh, 92A or the 93A. Which one? 92A. Um, it's one of the worst <laughs> Ferraris ever made um, from a one car. So it's, but it's interesting to have like the double double wings. And if I've made a video about this and I actually removed all the deco because the uh, water slide dec decal was like completely failing. So I just put it in like warm water, removed everything. Um, it's a bit of a shame to get rid of all the sponsorships and stuff, but I, I think it looks better overall than, than just have like awful, like horrible peeling deco uh, the back wings are painted there's a little the red back there is painted and the um, wheels are painted the front wings are painted because of um, plastic um, so they all stay which is something right and um, but but most recently I have finally acquired this uh, Sparky model Spark 164 and this is the uh, McLaren uh, MP3 Ooh. This is this is difficult for me. Oh, I hmm. this my a little bit of uh, extra work beforehand will be nice. It's it's all oh, those numbers are not easy to keep in mind. This is an MP4-30 from 2015, and this is one for um, Jensen Button. This is the one uh, with which he won the um, Chinese Grand Prix because Macau is a Macau because Spark model or Sparky is a company that's based in Macau so a lot of their stuff is a bit more focused on like Chinese Grand Prix or like Macau Grand Prix uh, when that happens and uh, yeah so they also have one for uh, Nico Hulkenberg um, in his uh, Renault when he was in Renault and there's also a uh, Hamilton uh, Mercedes the um, the Hulkenberg one is pretty uh, it's not cheap. I think I've seen ones. Uh, I've seen ones going for like thirty dollars shipped, which, uh, and I haven't even been able to find the uh, the Mercedes on eBay at all. But just a quick look at it. It's a it's nice. It, it no longer has the um, uh, Vodafone uh, sponsorship. Sorry, it's a bit dusty, uh, but it still has the um, the main silver color before the uh, livery redesign. I have a brush here somewhere, right? I do, yeah. So it's a nice silver and black color, pretty cool. And you, you can just see how much bigger these things has gotten over the years, mostly for safety concerns. Also gives room for a lot of aero. Uh, it's gonna be a lot harder to overtake though as a result, especially on like tight street circuits, those old circuits like um, Monaco. It's a lot harder to overtake, but you can see it's really nicely detailed. And, but the thing is like, in the packaging, it's still a lot of wear. It might not even be in the packaging, it might be from factory. Can't say for sure, but you can see there's a bit of the orange paint missing from the front. But like really nice details that shows you the sponsors. CNN on the side, SO Mobile Honda, because this is still when uh, McLaren was using a Honda engine, they're obviously using a, um, they're using Renault engines currently, and they will be using uh, Mercedes engines going forward. Yeah, really nice car. And you can see the McLaren logo right here. There's also a uh, figure in here. And just comparison with, um, this is from like the 90s era, and how much longer it is. And actually the uh, 92F, 92, 93, my brain can't, 92A, yeah. I, my brain keeps thinking 93 for some reason. The 92A is actually a little bit, well, quite a bit wider than the McLaren actually has, like, 
thicker back tires as well, really thick back tires. You can see how much um, the Formula One has changed. And uh, just for a little comparison, obviously this will be tiny. It would not be nearly as big as any of these. And the, um, the Tyrell, believe it or not, is also quite a bit bigger. Now it's hard to find information on how like the dimensions of the Tyrell for some reason, but I've done numbers using a um, uh, Tamiya 112 model kit, and it should actually, according to those numbers, it should be shorter than the 92A, which I don't quite see how it's possible, but I'll trust the numbers on it, but either way, it's definitely not, it definitely it's not going to be longer than the McLaren, so it's really interesting. And just a comparison with the, um, uh, is it different racing series, different um, single seater open wheel racing series. See, IndyCar, this is a 2019 IndyCar, uh, the Dallara with a um, Honda engine, but that doesn't really matter, does it? And you can see just, uh, yeah, just interesting dimensions. It looks similar, obviously, because, you know, it's, I guess, single seater open racing. Uh, open wheels formula uh, racing car yeah it's it's cool one thing I want to note is that the um this one the sparky actually rolls it's a little wobbly but pretty good um, this one also rolls also not uh, actually a little worse than the sparky model and this is the bottom of what this looks like it's a die cast metal chassis while the um, spark actually probably shouldn't hold it by the nose actually it's, it's a plastic base it's really plain but obviously you know not much going on in the bottom other than the diffuser um so yeah um it's a great car to add to my collection and by the way uh it's interesting how um sparky packages their models because like a lot of the times especially in the uh, the u.s spec they have like the blisters, right? What's the base? And it doesn't have any, um, any, like it has a base, but no case. And I think in like Asia spec, they actually have um, like a proper acrylic case. But in this case, it actually just had like a cardboard box. I'm gonna keep this uh, because I, it's a nice model car and I wanna keep it protective, but it's, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's not really a, um, display case necessarily but it, get, it's, it gets the job done right so yeah i would love to get uh formula one cars in this scale i'm actually cons uh, the lighting um i would love to uh, keep looking for a formula one cars in 164 and honestly i'm considering getting like a 143 model because 164 is so hard to find probably because it's you know not going to be easy to make something uh this detailed and this accurate on such a tiny scale right um so i'm thinking about maybe getting like my first 143 model probably not anything larger than that not any time soon uh, just for size and obviously cost um i would also um tarmac works is coming out with an f3 car next year so i'm gonna pick that up and if i can get like uh kyosho 164 formula one cars uh, i would uh keep looking for those as well and I know Major Red is making Formula E cars, but they're not easy to get either in the States or in China, which I thought was strange, but I'll, I'm sure I'll find ways to get some of them. But um, that's it for this video. Um, it's a great Formula 1 car. Not that many out there, especially in 164. I'm very, very happy to get it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.